for whatever commitments. Maybe one day is doable for you. And the head office has listened to us and, you know, given that option, which certainly was an option any conference I've been to. So that's um, pretty exciting. I think we've got, tw I had a goal to have 20 and 25 was the scratch goal for Team Believe. And I'm pretty sure we're at 20 now. So let's hit 25, guys. I know there's enough of us to create it. And hopefully we've got two more coming from New Zealand, which is so exciting. Yes. We can definitely do that. 25 is doable. We've got yeah. like over 100 people in our team. So um, mm -hmm. that's like a quarter of people who can get there. So, And like we said before, we don't want to go on about conference because I know you guys have heard it all a lot lately, especially Adam and Kira <laughs> mention it every time. Uh, but I think it, it's important, right? It's what it's that feeling that you get. It's not so much what you learn, but it's that whole atmosphere and that whole vibe and the connection and the community and just knowing that your belief in everything just skyrockets. The belief in the product because you're hearing um, real stories from people who started the Juice Plus product. Like I think um, John Blair, I think it's John. We heard him speak in LA. He's awesome and he was actually the one who originally like bought the powder to the juice plus company to say this is amazing like we need to jump on board and all um like a lot of the other top guys i can't can't remember his name their names now Tanil, you can help me out we were on the dance floor with him in la <laughs> with dr mitra ray what's his name i can yeah, yeah, Birdie. Birdie. yeah that's it I can just see him on the dance floor at the glow party. <laughs> um, he even said no. Like, he's like, no, I don't think this is going to work. So this um, John Blair, he's the man. Um, and he's amazing to listen to. And just, you know, we had such a strong belief in the product already. But after conference, it just, like, goes through the roof. And the same with the business as well in the industry. Can I ask how you forget Jeff Roberti's name? <laughs> oh, I, I was going Joe Dispenza, I was so saying all these yeah, other names. <laughs> I could picture him in my head that and him and Dr. Mitra Ray, you know, and Tanil's trying to take the selfie 10 times and she's pushing the off button because she's so <laughs> drunk. <laughs> we didn't get... No, there was no alcohol. We were good girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, there are all the fun memories that we, like, you know, we're going to have forever. Celine and um, Lindy and that, like, all on the dance floor. <laughs> down under song and we're all jumping up. And, yeah, it was crazy. And Kylie <laughs> dancing with that guy in his undies. Oh, my God. <laughs> And then no, he wouldn't leave her alone, like following her around all night. It's like, sorry, <laughs> I only wanted a photo with you to send to my husband to make him jealous. I don't want anything to do with you now. <laughs> well, that was the black man. That yeah, was that was the one. black guy. Yeah. No, he was pretty good, actually. I should be quiet. My husband's around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> really Speedo um, guy wasn't, though. That was his quality. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And we nearly got mugged on the first night. I just want to let you know you're lucky you've got your, your leaders here in this group alive to tell the story. We had a really weirdo following us in LA at midnight. But well, that's okay. We survived. We weren't exactly doing the right thing, though. <laughs> no, we weren't. Uh, I thought what happens in LA is going to stay in LA, girls. <laughs> Are we having an amazing guest speaker to get on tonight? Or will I get off? Yes, we are. <laughs> I've just heard from them and they are jumping on very, very soon. You can probably know who it is because they're late. <laughs> Kylie can Adam. vouch for that. <laughs> has to be Adam. Yeah, he just messaged me and said, I'll jump on at nine. I'm like, yes, that would be perfect. He had a call <laughs> until nine. So obviously it's gone a little bit late. Um, hey, man, I was going to do a three-way call with him at, um, at six. Well, I won at 3.30 and he's like, sorry, double booked. Can you do this on your own? I'm like, yep, no worries. And he's like, I'll see you at 6. 
and then at 10 past six he messaged oh, there he is he's on <laughs> we're paying you out Adam. no we're not i said i just heard from him he's gonna jump on very soon <laughs> we're laughing at how you're late hello hi it is late thank you so much for jumping on the call adam we appreciate it my pleasure it. <laughs> um, my pleasure what's up uh, we were just sharing some stories about LA, all the fun stuff that happens at conference. You can't share all the stories. No, that's what we said. We can't tell you everything. All right, that's all right then. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys didn't see me at leadership retreat. I was pretty good after that. Yeah, so, um, we heard yeah. that was a bit messy. Yeah, it was pretty wild. But anyway, well, I don't know, how can I add value? What, what would you guys love, love me to share? Does anyone have any questions around while we've got Adam here in our little group um, that you'd like some coaching with or some help with, or would you just like him to kind of chat about? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll leave it up. Don't to you. be shy, lucky guys. Yeah. Only guys. I know you always have got. You know, everyone's rushing in really quick when I when Sneaker and I do this, but I encourage you while Adam's on the call that you do actually rush in and put your hand up. You know, and get your <laughs> questions answered while you got him. Super busy. Yeah. If not, I will just unleash something. I don't know what'll come out of my mouth. <laughs> well, no one's going to be it, So, yeah. Let me start with this. Um, end of month. I want to say to you guys why end of month is so important and why, you know, really right now with, well, let's face it, there's about 36 hours to go in the month. Uh, the end of this month, right? The guys have probably got till lunchtime Thursday that you'll still be able to put orders in. And why this time of the month is so important for the momentum of your business for the future is that when you adopt a do whatever it takes attitude, when you look at your business right now and you say, what could I achieve in the next 36 hours that would propel me forward to achieve the things that I really want? The thing is when you adopt a do whatever it takes attitude and you make some what I call epic shit happen is that that culture, that mentality that you adopt often rubs off not only on yourself for what's possible for next month, but also what's possible for your team. And whether you have lots of team or not many team at all right now is that it's those people that go after you later on along this journey and that you create, this business is about momentum. And when you create momentum, it just attracts success. And so I would say to you guys, you know, look at your business right now and ask yourself, what could I get done and what could be achievable? You know, how many of you guys are still on the edge of getting to SDVF? And you've got at least 2,000, 2,500 points in your business. I want to let you guys know if you've got 2,000 points to go, getting to SDVF in the next 36 hours is totally doable. It's totally doable. And I know right now you think you are crazy, dude. But honestly, it's doable because it's just about picking up the phone and following people up and sometimes just like, hey, I just wanted to touch base. I know you showed a little interest in the program the other day and I wanted to do the right thing as I have some people that are getting started in the program right now and I thought I want to touch base and see if those results that you spoke about were still important to you. Do you still really want to achieve those results? And then I'd love to help you get started. I've got some people getting started, love to put you in the program and get you going and, you know, really achieve what you want. So it's when you come from a place of wanting to help them, then that becomes easier. But sometimes you just got to pick up the phone, not like send a message and then kind of like twiddle your fingers and go, I hope they message me back soon. Sometimes you just got to pick up the phone. You know, you can call anyone on Facebook Messenger, right? You know, you can call them. If you, instead of messaging, you go to the top right-hand corner and it's got a telephone there, if you press that, it will dial them on Facebook Messenger. I know some of you guys are like, that's scary. Well, you know what's scarier? <laughs> what's that? I was just going to say, Tony's laughing because she's done that by accident a few times and yeah. she's had no idea. Yeah. She's done. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. But honestly, you know what's scarier? that you have to keep putting up with the current situation you're in. But nothing changes. And as a matter of fact, it gets worse, not better in life. The, the thing is, guys, 
you you are responsible for what you can create in your business. It's up to you. You guys are all independent franchisees and you wouldn't be on this call at quarter past nine at night if you weren't serious about something about this. That's what I know. So I feel like I can have real conversations with you guys and my job's not to buy into the BS excuses that are holding you back, but to kind of say to you, put all those bullshit excuses aside and ask yourself, what do you really want? And what if you could? You know, what would your business look like if you could get to SDVF? What would your business look like if you could help two or three of your team member get to SDVF? And you just linked arms with him and said, let's do this, babe. We've got 36 hours and we can totally do this. It's that do whatever it takes attitude that will create success in your business. That will, in the next 36 hours, will then say, if we can do that in 36 hours, imagine what we could do in 30 days. I'm not saying that you're going to work like a crazy woman or a man for that. So I just noticed Andrew. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm conscious of there are some guys of like us in this business, but um, but I think the thing is, it's about asking yourself, what would it take? What could I do? What if I could do it? What would it mean to your business? So that's one thing. I think that's important. Maybe some of you guys have been qualified in the past. Maybe you've never qualified your business. You are an SDBF. And you're like, that's it. I'm going to get qualified. I'm going to come to conference with a qualified business. I want to let you guys know that everyone who has got a qualified business, when you come to conference, that your name badge, that your name badge says that you're qualified or not qualified. You want to be the qualified ones, right? That you can proudly say, hey, I've got a little PB sticker on my thing and I'm proud of that. I'm qualified and being qualified is a big deal. So if you're an SDVF right now or anything more than that, then get qualified. If you're not an SDVF yet, then get to SDVF in the next 36 hours and then get qualified before you go to conference. It's doable. Show them on your report. I've got a qualified business. Give me that thing that goes on my name badge. Right? So really just ask you guys what's possible and it's up to you what you want to make possible in the next 36 hours. It's up to you. If you kind of like have this, I'll try, I'll see what happens. Honestly, don't bother. You've got to adopt like effort. I'm doing this thing. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And when you adopt that guys, that's when it happens. When you kind of like, I'll see what happens. I like, I already know what's going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. This business isn't easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Let's face it. Who wouldn't want to be able to work when they want, wherever they want, create an income in their pajamas. Who wouldn't want to do that? Right. The thing is, it's simple though. The business is simple. If you do the simple tasks, you talk to people, you get them in front of a, an event, you get them in front of one of your leaders and then you work to, and away you go. You know, who could you get in front of one of your leaders? Imagine right now that in the next 36 hours, you're able to get someone excited and engaged to join the business. I know you guys think I'm crazy right now, but imagine in, if there was someone you could follow up tonight or tomorrow morning to get on a call tomorrow morning and say, hey, I want to touch base and see where you're at. I know you showed a little interest and, and you just put them in front of one of your leaders. And that they got inspired about why they would want to get started now before the end of the month rolls over. Why do I feel like it's such a great time to get started now rather than wait to the new month to get started? Is because if I can show them that they do their own order, and if their order is big enough, it gets them over a thousand points. And I find, or potentially, I find them one customer. Do one post right now, and let's find you one customer before lunchtime on Thursday. It means that you're going to put three hundred dollars potentially into your bank account because you get to DVF. And the best thing is that you jump to the next commission level before the end of the month. And instead of earning sixty-one dollars for a premium order, you're now earning seventy-five. And if you bring someone into the business next month, they're on, going to be on $61 a premium order and you pick up $14 every order they do. That's the magic. So it's about helping them achieve what they want to not have to wait to the 10th of July to get your first pay, but get, get money in your bank account on the 10th of June. 
just in time for conference. On that subject, conference. There's 21 people on this call. I'm guessing these are the 21 people that are coming to conference. <laughs> just about, yeah. Good. And, well, it doesn't surprise me. But I want to urge you guys that if you haven't bought your ticket to conference yet, go and buy it. Just buy it now. The thing is, if you go and buy your ticket now, you then open up a space that others will follow you. Right? Others will follow you. Imagine not only that you came to conference, but two or three of your team came to conference. And I want to let you guys know that maybe in the next week you haven't even met someone that's about to join your team. And when they look in your eyes and you say, you know what, you should come to conference. It's amazing. If you want, there would not be a better way to get started in the business than come to conference. Many of you guys know my story five days into the business and some, and someone said, come to conference. And I was like, dude, I've just started. Are you kidding me? Come to Sydney. Got to come to conference. Really? Okay. If they say to do it, I'm going to do it. It's a game changer, guys. If you guys are serious that you want to be successful, come to conference. I trust me. You need to trust me. And I not. It's not a how-to. It's an experience. It's an experience that no one can ever tell you about that you'll really understand. You know when you've done something, when you've been to, I don't know if you've ever been to a self-development course. It's not a self-development course, by the way. Or you've done something like they're like just, you're like no pictures, no description could ever really describe it. There's nothing I can tell you that will give you the experience. You just got to do it. That's what conference is. And sometimes if you already bought a ticket, then that's how you got to explain it to others. And my thing is, if I didn't urge you guys to come, then honestly, I'd feel like I'm letting you down. Because I know what it did for me. Three years ago, I went to my first conference. Three years ago. Two years ago, Carly came to her first and was not even a franchisee. And she's going to come to this conference as an NMD. If not, don't come. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> right? An NMD in two years. How many guys would love to be an NMD in the next two years? I'm guessing you guys are all coming to conference. Every single one of you guys can do it, but the conference will give you the level of belief, the, the, the belief more than anything, the certainty that this, is, this could be the thing that you've been looking for. Or you could get on this call for the next 12 months and probably by the time you, in the next 12 months, you're finally like, oh, I think I've got, I think I've got that now. Conference will give you that in two days. And this is the other thing. If you don't come next year, when you're 12 months into this and you've got a little momentum in your business and you know how important like you're going to go next year, is that your, they, your team's going to ask you, did you go last year? I know you're in the business and you go, oh, I kind of had a few excuses. Oh, so excuses are okay. You set the standard for your team forever. Forever. So don't let your excuses get in the way of your dreams. Just make it happen. And don't let other people's excuses get in their dreams. Hold that space. I know sometimes you're like, I really want this person, but I don't want to have that. Comp like, oh, what if they don't like what I say? You know what? Share with them. The reason you're sharing this is because you care about them and you don't want to give up on their dreams for them. So I want to share how that you coming to a conference is so important. And I know I put my friendship or our relationship on the line by 
pushing you a little to make the just make the right decision. But often the reasons they're not coming are the re exact reasons why they need to. I'm too busy. That's why you need to come to a conference. I haven't got enough money. That's why you need to come to a conference. The kids. That's why you need to come to a conference. Is there any questions around that? Is there anything I can help you guys with that? I think, okay. most, I think most of the girls that and guys that are on this call tonight are actually all coming. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, and I, the thing that I want, I suppose why I share that, because I get that with this group, but I know that you guys have got people in your team yeah. that haven't made a decision yet. And so your job is to hold a space for them to inspire them. Mm -hmm. Also, Adam, another thing that I've noticed um, we're having a bit of problem with uh, over the last couple of months probably is everyone's finding it good um, to bring on team. Like I think that's starting to happen now, but we're finding that the team are kind of getting to DVF and then maybe just not getting to that next level of SDVF. And I think people who are bringing them on are a bit worried about, I don't want to seem pushy. I don't want to overwhelm them. I don't, they're not feeling comfortable posting on Facebook. So let's just leave it a little bit like that. How do we, how do we inspire them and show them what's possible without making them pull away and getting overwhelmed? Yeah, I think, look, I'm, I'm absolute, you guys probably hear me say this many times, but there's only two reasons why people don't get into action and don't create success is that they don't know what's possible or they lose belief that they can't do it. That's the only reason why they stop showing up, right? They don't get into action is because they either don't know what's possible or they don't believe that they can achieve what they want. That's the only reason. Because if, And I say that because if I ask them, if you did the five high paying activities, you found half an hour to an hour each day to do that, that in the next 12 months you could be earning two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a month, but all you need to do is make sure you turn up for half an hour to an hour every day and you make sure you do those high paying activities. I don't know many people that wouldn't do that. Mm. The only, so the only reason they don't is because they either don't know what's possible or they don't believe they can achieve it. And the reason why most of them don't think they can achieve it because they're not actually doing the work, work, yeah. right? Is that they say, I've tried. Oh, you tried, babe. Tell me about that. What have you tried to do? Well, you can't tell them, no, you haven't tried. You liar, right? That doesn't work. You kind of got to ask them, what do you feel like you've tried? So our job when you bring on a team member is that you do the game plan chat. And that means not just send them the game plan chat video, but follow up with them in a day, like in a couple of days and ask them, what did you get out of the video? What would you love to achieve in the next 60 to 90 days? If there was a sum of money, what would you love to be able to achieve? Let's face it. Some people watch that game plan chat and maybe they don't really watch it. Hmm. They've like got it in the background, so they're not real. They don't really understand. Like most, I reckon there's a whole bunch of, there's, a, I would say majority of people, when they watch that video, I'm saying, if you ask them, how much money do you think you can make in the next 60, 90 days? They're like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Did you watch the video? Yeah. Did you hear what Adam spoke about? Yeah. Do you, do you remember what he shared? No. Nah. But you think they get it, but they don't get it. And so how do you dig deeper with that? Like I've, I've had that um, come up this week quite a few times with new calls um, that I've done three ways. And um, we kind of asked them like what, what amount of dollars would kind of you like to land in your bank account in the next 30 to right. 60 days um, after we've already asked them how many hours they feel is achievable for them to put into this business. And they kind of say, oh, I don't know, that's such a hard question. Nobody's asked me that before. I'm like, yeah, cool, that's all right. Like, you know, this is meant to make you dig a bit deeper and think about it and um, they'll go, uh, anything really. Like I've got nothing coming in at the moment, so anything would really be a bonus. And it's just I need some more questions to yeah, really right. get that. Awesome. From. So is anyone brand new here? 
Is anyone brand brand new? Uh, yes, yeah, Summer is. She's under her husband at the moment, Banja. <laughs> so Summer's right, pretty brand new. Yep. Oh yeah, Banja. Yep. All right. And Can, also, do you want to play this game? Can you be my? Can you be the guinea pig here? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Great. Awesome. So we'll do that with you, and then you uh, obviously everyone gets to learn some of the questions. So can you? It's not Banja, right? It's Summer. Vanya. Vanya. Summer. Vanya, but my Summer. name's Summer. <laughs> Summer. Vanya. Awesome. Where is that from? Vanya. Uh, my husband's Croatian. There you go. Awesome. Um, so, Summer, I want to ask you, um, why are you here? What do you want to get out of the business? I want to create an extra source of income for my family. Awesome. And you got a little family? I've got a family of three boys under four and a half. Oh, my goodness. How did you yeah. deserve that? I don't know. I keep telling myself that. <laughs> <laughs> well, really love it. Love it. Good on you, girl. My mum was a mum of four, but uh, uh, mum had was a mother of three boys too. But there was a bit more spread out. So I'm here. I'm feeling you. Um, yeah. I want to ask you. You talk about the sum of money. What's What's the figure right now that you would love to see land in your bank account every month that would put a smile on your face? I wanted to start with five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that was realistic. Awesome. I thought. Yeah, great. So tell me, how does $500 a month, how does that start to make a difference right now? Well, that pays for the groceries for, you know, at least a fortnight. <laughs> no um, way, not the four boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, little boys. Well, I'm on a budget here. 250 a week, it. <laughs> right. And what, what would get you really excited? Is, would $1,000 a month get you even more excited? Yeah, it would. That would pay the groceries for the whole month. Awesome. Great. Great. And so can I ask you, how, if you knew that $1,000 a month could land into your bank account every month, um, how many hours a week do you feel like you could find to help you create that $1,000 a month? Well, I would hope it would be less than what I was traditionally working because I would be having to work around 80 hours to get that $1,000, I can tell you right now. Yeah. $1,000 a month? Uh, no, it'd be about $1,000 a week I would yeah. for 40 hours, yeah. So, yeah. so if you I knew that $1,000 a month can land in your bank account, how many hours do you feel like you could find? Well, I suppose realistically I'd have to think that 40, 40 hours in a month would be about what I'd have to put in to get $1,000 out. Yeah, so you feel like you've got at least 10, uh, 10 hours a week to put into this? Yeah, I, I can find 10 hours a week. Awesome, awesome. So that's good. So, she, so the thing is, one thing I want to let you guys know is that you guys heard um, Summer kind of did the 500 and then I tried to get her to expand her imagination to 1,000. Now, the silly question that I asked that gets the obvious answer, would 1,000 get you more excited? Like, that's of course, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Of course, 1,000 would make me more excited than 500. But it's a question I ask that gets the answer that I'm looking for, right? Now, let's say, thank you, Summer, for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, the, the one thing that I'd say, so Summer said, yes, I feel like I could find 10 hours a week. Awesome. So what I, so if I was, coach, if the things that I would say to where you want to spend your 10 hours a week is what we call the five, five high-paying activity summer. So watching every YouTube clip on fruits and vegetables in a capsule is not a high-paying activity. Okay, no. I want to let you know that. And one thing I want to put your mind at ease right now is that you don't have to be an expert to be good at this business. It's fruits, vegetables, and berries. So what I want to just put your mind at ease is that I'm yet to come across someone who doesn't know what fruits, vegetables, and berries are yet. Mm. So you don't have to be a science expert to explain it. And just by you sharing why you love it and why it makes sense to you is the most powerful story of all. So what I find is what happens, guys, is that a lot of people when they first get started feel like they need to know everything first. And so they spend more time on feeling like trying to get all the information rather than actually get into action. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is very normal. Because we're so conditioned, when you do a job, you've got to be the expert at it. Where in this business, it's very different. You don't have to be the expert. The thing that I want to teach you early on, Summer, 
is that this business is really simple and there's two parts to it. One part of our business is that you're going to be able to help people with health and maybe there's some people you've already thought about that you yeah. feel like you'd love to help, right? And then there's other people that you get to help with the same thing that you're looking for, which is creating extra income from home, whether that be a mama that wants to do that, whether that be a family that wants to get on top of their financial situation, someone who wants to travel more, someone who wants to create an amazing income to really own their own life. You know, there's lots of reasons why people do that. The other thing I'm going to warn Summer of is that you going and telling them that they need to do Juice Plus or they should take it probably isn't going to work. Yeah. Your job isn't to convince someone. Your job is to take ask the obvious questions that get the answers that you're looking for. So you take an interest in them. So you can ask right now, Summer, who's that one person that you'd really love to share this with? Uh, I've got a friend called Karen. Awesome. And how do you know Karen? Uh, she's been a friend of mine since high school. She's trying to conceive and she has Hashimoto's. And she's also looking for another stream of income to um, take over from her family daycare business. And for a million reasons, I think this would be perfect for her. Yeah. Um, awesome. But it's getting her to at least try try the product and get her started. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's one of those drip drip feeds, yeah. I suppose, <laughs> drip line or however you call it. So I just... This is a good example, by the way. This is an awesome example what you've done because I think what happens is is that we see both sides, right? We're like, yeah. gosh, so benefit from the product. She would be awesome at the like this business. And I know there's a girl by the name of Katrina Stark uh, who is a home daycare mama. Uh, she's about to go NMD in the next day or so. She's created about a $6,000 a month income over the last 18 months two years doing Juice Plus, eight, about 18 months. So that's a good story, which is a thing. So, but the thing is, I want to ask you this, and this is the important thing to understand, guys, and really get this concept. In what area, Summer, do you think right now is more important to her? For her to get healthier, although I, I know that's an obvious, in some way it's a kind of, which one do you feel like is the most obvious pain for her right now? that she's not making enough money or not doing what she really wants to do and that's a real pain for her or is it more the struggles that she's going through when it comes to being want to be a mom? Uh, she, she's a yo-yo dieter and I, I think that trying to get her weight under control would help her condition and in turn would help her conceive and in turn would help you know her see that the potential that is there for a business. Cool. You know, so you think uh, the health part is something that you'd be more open to hear about? Yeah, I think it's number awesome. one priority. Right. So I think this is a very important thing, guys, because sometimes when we go to someone, people feel like I've got both these things and, oh, there's this, babe. And then so the, the best tip I'm going to give you is that you don't mention ever the business, okay, mm. until she becomes a customer. Yes, which I haven't mentioned the business yet. <laughs> right, awesome. So then the next thing is, then I would say to Summer, so Summer, so I can arm you with some strategies so you can help her rather than kind of tell her that she's got to take Juice Plus is ask her about her health. How's your, last time I spoke to you, are you taking anything? Are you doing anything to get on top of that right now? Now you probably know the answer to that. But you've got to ask those questions to get the answer again so you can then then have an opportunity to share. Yep. And so it might go something like, hey, babe, how's, you know, how's your health at the moment? How's your Hashimoto's? What do you guys, I know you guys have been trying to have kids. Is there any strategies mm -hmm. other than the obvious um, about get, getting pregnant right now? And are you taking anything? Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything? blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, not really. Not, I don't know. It's so frustrating, blah, blah, blah. And then it's about sharing a story, which would be something like the reason I asked, babe, is I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I've recently been involved. I'm re I've recently become involved in a pretty cool online program. And I've heard loads of stories about women uh, conceiving since doing the program. And I couldn't help but think of you. Now, when you share that way, what do you think she's going to say? Yeah, that sounds good. 
What is it? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Tell me more. And you're like, I'd love to share. Um, it's, it, it's like I said, it's all hosted on Facebook. There's a couple of uh, whole food products that go with it. But if I was to get you some information on it, would you be open enough to check it out? Stupid question. Right? But you've got to ask it because she's like, yes, I'd like to know. Tell me more. And you're like, I'll get you some info. And then I would go and find some cool testimonials that mamas have shared about conceiving since day and just say, here, babe, check out this stuff. Yep. See how it's so different if you do that rather than just, oh, my God, this thing, it's amazing and, uh, and it's fruit and vegetables and I love it. And she's like, what happened to you? Yep. So you do it in an elegant way. And I think the same with the business. If you had told me right now her, the business side of it is the most important, then I wouldn't mention the product ever in the beginning because her doing the business isn't about the product and the benefits of the product. It's more about what this vehicle, what the business is. You get that? So why doesn't she want to do home daycare anymore? Or why would she do this business opposed to that? Well, all the kids that she have are maturing and they're ready to go to school next year, including her own child. So she wants something that's going to fit in from, you know, school hours. Awesome. And, um, right. Yeah. So, again, if it was someone like that, I'd just say, hey, babe, um, how's home daycare going and how's that all going? And I know you mentioned recently that you were looking to phase out of that and maybe do something else. Have you found anything yet? If you were going to do something, what are you kind of toying with? You know, you take an interest in her. Then you might ask her something like, have you ever considered building something like using like from home where you could do it online, social media, anything like that? Okay. And she kind of, and you, she might say, yeah, I have actually. And you're like, awesome. What, what have you heard? What have you looked at? And then when she's like, oh, you know, and then you might say, look, one of the reasons I ask is I've recently come across an online business. And when I saw it, the first person I thought about was you. I couldn't help but think that it might be something of real interest. And I know some mamas that are doing it that have created very impressive incomes. Like some of the girls that literally are teaching me are already earning three and four and five thousand dollars a month. It's crazy. What do you think she might ask? <laughs> what is Where'd it? I sign up? <laughs> yeah, it's like, where is it? What it's is the, it? What is you it? guys get that it's the stories that you share not the facts that you tell them. It's about the benefits, not the features. Yeah. When often we're like, it's this fruit, it's called Juice Plus and it's this product and, and they're like, oh, so I have to sell stuff. I can't do that. Automatically they're like, it's one of those. Oh my, are you doing one of those things? Are you trying to sign me up so you can make money? Right? That's all they think because they've probably been, you know, someone awkwardly shared it with them. But when you just share the story, I thought of you, if I could send you something, you know, some of the mamas that I know have created amazing incomes and I could not <laughs> something. Could I send you something? And I'm like, yeah, send me something. I'll have a look. And then just get them in front of the event. When you've got someone interested in the business, say less, share a story, get them in front of the event. Whether that be a recording, a live Zoom or a live event that's in your, in your area. The events will do the work. Thank awesome. you for being a good guinea pig. <laughs> now, the other thing Thanks. is that I want to say this, is when people get on a call, Tanika, can you be the really difficult one? Because someone was a good little student then. <laughs> she like said all the right things. <laughs> so I'm going to say, yeah, so Tanika, what would you love to be able to achieve through this? You know, if, if, if you could create an extra income, what would make a difference? Uh, anything. Yeah. I don't earn any money at the moment, so anything would be good. So when you say anything, you mean like $5? Uh, probably a bit more than that. Oh, okay. So five, a bit more than $5. So <laughs> can I ask you, would, if I asked you, would five would 500 make a difference right now? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, what I about, don't mean anything. So yeah, 500 would be cool. But not $5? No, not $5. Okay, great. That's good to know <laughs> that 500 is more exciting than $5. 
Yeah. The thing is, I know it seems crazy to even say that, but I'll like say, when they say anything, I'll often say, so $5 would be enough per month. You'd be happy with that? And they're like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. So it's not anything then. Yeah. And they're like, oh, no, it's not anything. I'm like, that's okay. So what would, what would you love? What would make a difference right now that would make it worthwhile? Mm. Like, and often it's because they don't know what's possible. So they're scared to kind of set it. So I'm like, so can I ask you if you could make an extra 500 to a thousand a month right now, would that make a difference? Yeah. Definitely. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, which one would make more of a difference? 500 or a thousand? Thousand. Stupid, stupid question, Adam. <laughs> yeah. But I can't tell them. Got to ask them. Mm-hmm. They say a thousand. You're like awesome. So how would a thousand dollars make a difference right now? So our job is to show people what's possible. To help cast a vision. That's our job. That's your job. Mm. If I walk up to one of your team members and I say, Hey, what do you want to achieve right now? What are you out to achieve? And they're like, I don't really know. And you haven't had that chat with them about what they are out to achieve and what's going on. And that's a conversation that continues going on guys forever. Yeah. And I think it's really important. Like I know I have a book that I kind of have a page for every three way call that I do. And I'm writing down, even if it's not my front line that I'm personally bringing on, but if I'm, you know, helping them with the call, I'm still writing it down because I think it's really important that, um, you go back to that, like you said, along the way. And even when they're having that bit of a lull in their business or they're not sure if they can do this or whatever, then you can look at your book and go back to that and go, well, I know you told me this initially. Is that still important to you? Yeah. It's good. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. And I would say to you guys, this is important. How many guys could honestly tell me right now that you know exactly what you're out to achieve in the next 60 to 90 days? in your business, what you want to see land in your bank account that would put a smile in your face in the next 60, 90 days that you've made it a non-negotiable. Like I'm going to make it happen. I'll do whatever it takes. How, honestly, how many, if you're kind of like this, keep your hand down. If you're kind of like, Oh, I sort of do that's keep your hand down. The thing is guys, if you have no certainty of where you're going and you want people to follow you, you're like a lost sheep. You're like, follow me. I've got no idea where I'm off to. <laughs> so my thing is this, Rach, that you want four digits in your account, right? The thing is, mm -hmm. um, do you know how to start putting four digits in your bank account? I'm working on it. <laughs> Do you know what your business needs to look like so you are earning a thousand dollars a month? Oh, uh, maybe. Tell me, what do you think your business needs to look like to be earning a thousand dollars a month? Um, I don't know. I can't do the math quick enough. Ten customers that are team me with orders. You think that's what it is? Well, it is if you do. Yep. Ten, if you just do it with customers. Yep. Yeah. What if you didn't work for the month? Um, there's no money there. <laughs> well, there is, you know, the great thing about this business, it can be the case. I need to do my teamies first. <laughs> yeah. So I want to say is that if you can help your business grow to three club, that you've been able to help three people get to SDVF and then help them qualify their business. Three club is a thousand dollars a month. Okay. Even if you don't put any customers on. Right. You're not an SDVF yet? You're not an SDVF yet? No. When did you start? Uh, March. April. Awesome. April. <laughs> How long have you got left in your 60 days? It expired three days ago. No, okay. that was your 40 days. Ah. That was your 40, not your 60. 60, we've yeah, got to the 20, 26th of this, no, the 16th oh, of this month. June. 16th of June? There yep. you go. There you Have go. You so you're going to come to conferences and SDVF? 
I don't know. Just say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Adam. Just say yes and work out the rest. <laughs> I wanna, the thing is, I want to say this. If you say, I don't know, I can tell you what's probably going to happen. Okay. If you say, yes, I'm going to do it and I'll do whatever it takes, I will find a way, then you've given yourself permission to do it. If I'm going, Kerb's got to go too. What do you mean, the conference? Kirby. <laughs> Are you saying I don't know about conference? You weren't saying about SDVF? Yeah, I was saying I don't know about conference. <laughs> Why, so can I ask you this, Kirby? Yeah. Why don't you come to conference? Um, my personally aren't um, because I'm just about to go into legal battle over custody with my son. So financially at the moment isn't really top list for me. My son is. But if I get a change in anything in between now and then, I will definitely try to be there. And why are you doing the business? To be able to give my son the life he deserves on my own. So the exact reason why you're not coming to conference is the reason... <laughs> Why you need to come to conference? Is that what you just said? Pretty much, yep. Yeah. I'll see you at conference, huh? <laughs> you can stay at my house. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be letting you down if I didn't say anything about that. Yep. Yeah. You deserve to have the life of your dreams and I can't imagine what you're going through with the battle that you're going through with custody and all that stuff. My mum separated from my dad when I was 12 years old and you know, I had the opportunity to drag my dad off my mum a few times as he lost his shit because he was so frustrated. So I know, you know, I know what it's like to be in the middle of that crap. Yeah, so I'm like a Monday me too. <laughs> to see my mum struggle through those times was it nice? Mm. And I can tell you one of the biggest reasons I do this business is that the amount of independent mamas we get to change lives. Yeah. One of my personal passions is to create a foundation for single moms to give an opportunity to make life easier because it's something that's close to my heart because I saw my mom struggle so much. Yeah. And I'd feel like if I didn't hold a space to say, girl, I know you've got some justifications why you probably shouldn't come. But your child, he is a little boy? Yeah. 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 He needs his mama. Yeah. Yep. And he's going to get a whole lot more of his mama if she creates success while she came here. Yeah. So I know it's two days, but it could literally be the two days the best two days you've ever spent that could literally change your life for the next 12 months and then the next for the rest of your life. Yeah. And you deserve to let your hair out a bit. Kirby's really <laughs> close to SC. We're talking really? like 2,600 from, it's cumulative, 2,600 from SC, which is another jump in her income. 2,264 now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and counting. <laughs> And she's got the structure. Yeah. She's got the three you know what That's going to put in your bank account, hun. Like that, if that 264 points to get SC, which I know is a massive thing for you. That's so many, however many orders, four, five, whatever it is. I don't know. Um, I think I've got six to go. Yeah. Do you think about six orders, you know, that. Six that's premium. That's basically like another $600 in your in your bank, if they're your own personal customer orders. Um, yeah. You know, thinking now, who can you follow up or who can you start a conversation with? Because um, I put out there to Tony, you know, we're all here to support you girls to get that because I know there's a couple yeah. of you that are close to SC right now and I know that, you know, achieving that for conference is, a, you know, something that's on the radar. Yeah. Mm. Well, like, because Adam wouldn't know, Rachel is my only teamie out of three that is actually successfully working the business. Awesome. And look at her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amazing. she's very good. Honestly, I've had like a minute with her and I'm like, if you don't fucking come to conference, girl, I'll come get you and you come to conference. <laughs> That's a long and drive. I don't care. I think Where are you, Rachel? 
Uh, Kev and I both in Gundawindi. That's not far. It's only four hours. My mate, my mate grew up in Mill Mara and I used to come out and play golf at Mill Mara once a year. Okay. So Gundawindi is an hour and a half. Yeah. I want to just, yeah. honestly, girls, honestly, do you, the thing is, Kirby, you have, you have attracted Rachel into your business. Yep. You've finally found a rocket in your business. Mm. The thing is, you're that close, girl, to having a breakthrough. Yep. You girls being at conference is the game changer that you need to take this thing next level. I mean it. And Pressure. I'm telling you, Rachel <laughs> needs to be right. If you want Rachel to be the diamond that you know that she can be, then you got to get her to conference. And the only way you're going to yeah. get her there is you got to get there too. Yeah. <laughs> and get her to see the big vision. Oh, she's got it. Oh no, she doesn't. <laughs> she, think, she thinks she's got it. She thinks she's got it, but I'm telling you, once you come to conference, then you'll really get it. You th the thing is, right now, you like right now, it's kind of you're motivated because it's like it's new, it's exciting, it's awesome. Oh, this is exciting! Look at me go. But I'm telling you, you guys know what I think about motivation. It's like peeing in a wetsuit. Right now, it's warm and fuzzy, but sooner or later, the honeymoon period's going to go away. And if she hasn't been able to see the big vision, then there's going to be times when this gets tough. There's times when it's not as easy and it's easy to give up on it right now and she'll never forget conference. Yeah. She'll never forget the room with 1,500 people in there, people crying, the stories, people, the, the, the success they've created, the challenges they have to overcome and you get to literally be in the room with them with other freaking Crazy Juice Plus people and you're like, you know what, I get goosebumps when I think about it. When I explain it like that, honestly, I get goosebumps because I know, and this is no lie, the one person that came to conference with me on the first year, do you know, I want to let you know, I was you three years ago. I came to conference, one team member came with me and that was Lauren Berry. Yep. Can I just Lauren quickly Mary. say something there, Adam, before you go on? Yeah. Rachel's business changed. I've never met Rachel and I've never been to conference. So I'm not that excited and I'm going by what <laughs> Tanika has guided me to do and I'm doing it. Hence why I haven't pressured my team to go, which is Kirby and Rachel. Yeah, but I get it. in saying that, Rachel was truly, truly, truly inspired, inspired by Lauren Berry's um, Zoom last Monday night, which has made okay. her a total different approach that she's going to see so much more than Lauren Berry on stage at conference, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. And, I, and so I want to also say this. I'll introduce yeah. you to Lauren. <laughs> Lauren is like my little juicy sister. I just honestly, guys... And I know it's such a tough, like I, like, I got no idea what Kirby's going through right now. And I'm sure it's really stressful time in your life. Um, and I'll never understand. But if I didn't have this conversation, I feel like I would have let, I've let you down. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is, oh. it is stressful, but I have, oh, Rach and I have coffee like nearly every day of the week. So there you go. It's the little things that make it easier to get through. Of course. So I want to, I want to see you girls there. Find a way. You've attracted this. Honestly, I can tell. Like, she's the girl that wrote in the freaking comments here. <laughs> she's the girl, as soon as I mentioned her, she came off the video like, oh, talk to me. <laughs> she's ready to shine, man. Your business, sure your business is about to shine and your little boy deserves that as much as you do. Yeah, well, Rach and I are actually, there's a lady in town who has slowly grown her business to a really big one and she's holding a um, training session next week 
mm-hmm. on how to grow your business, especially with Instagram. It's based on Instagram. And we're going to that conference, like that training session next Tuesday. Awesome. So we've set up a team page, like a page, a business page that the pair of us are running and an Instagram page we're both running. So we're working on really expanding. I love it. And I can't wait that you'll be able to share lots of photos on the Instagram page at the Juice Plus Conference. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. I, I want to let you guys know. If you, I wasn't I'll, going to conference in the US, or I wasn't sure. And then Bianca called me and said she wanted to go, and I freaked out and said, "No way in the world is my Timmy going to the US if I'm not going." So we both booked out <laughs> the next day. <laughs> You're lucky I have serious FOMO, T. Got you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, yeah, I just want to, yeah, I'd look. And honestly, if you don't come, I won't be disappointed. I won't lose any sleep. You're not, you're not the difference between, it doesn't, it means like, I'd be disappointed for you. Mm. That I was, that I let you down. I didn't make a big enough impact that you just got a chance to say, fuck it. Let's find a way. And if you don't enjoy it, I want you to come up and tell me that it was a waste of time. <laughs> I want you to, but I'm yet to have someone come up to me yet. Yeah. It's a game changer. I'm telling you, you'll grab me at some stage and you'll like say, I didn't really get it. And I thought it was a bit crazy and a bit radical, but now I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get why you go on about it. So I look forward to seeing every single one of you guys. And I know some of you guys are on here that still haven't bought your ticket and you think that you kind of ducked a little like, you know, oh, I'm glad it was them. They got a grilling, not me. <laughs> and I know who you are because I've got the list. I've got a list of every single one of you guys that have bought a ticket so far. So just go and buy your ticket. And then go and find three more people that are going to come and join you at conference. And let's have a good time. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I better go. I've got another right. call. Thank you, Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye.